For the first time ever, global temperatures are now more likely than not to breach 1.5 degrees Celsius or 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit within the next five years. That's according to the World Meteorological Organization on Wednesday. But that did not necessarily mean crossing the long-term warming threshold of 1.5 Celsius above pre-industrial levels set out in the 2015 Paris Agreement. Petter Italis is the WMO's Secretary General. There's a 66 percent chance that we would exceed 1.5 degrees during the coming, coming five years. And, uh, and there's 33 percent uh, probability that we would uh, see the whole coming five years uh, exceeding, exceeding that uh, threshold 1.5 degrees, which is, uh, of course, not very likely to happen. One thing that boosts the chance of hitting 1.5 degrees is an El Nino weather pattern expected in the coming months, when warmer waters in the tropical Pacific will heat the atmosphere above and push up global temperatures. It's a conclusion that uh, that, uh, that we haven't been able to, uh, to limit the warming so far and, uh, and we are still moving in the wrong, wrong direction. The warning came as another international team of scientists said record-breaking heat waves that hit large parts of South and Southeast Asia in April were made 30 times more likely by human-induced climate change. The region saw Bangladesh at its hottest in 50 years and Thailand and Laos also hit by temperatures that caused widespread infrastructure damage, power shortages and a spike in heat stroke. The scientists for the World Weather Attribution Group said humid heat waves that used to happen once a century in Bangladesh and India now tend to occur every five years, while the heat in Thailand and Laos would have been virtually impossible without climate change.